Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how electrons are transferred during ionic bonding between group 2 metals and group 6 nonmetals. You should then be able to draw dot and cross diagrams to show ionic bonding. In the last video, we saw that ionic bonding takes place when a metal reacts with a nonmetal. We looked at ionic bonding between a group 1 metal such as lithium and a group 7 nonmetal such as fluorine. We saw that the electron in the outer energy level of the lithium moves to the fluorine atom. At the end of this reaction, we've produced the one positive lithium ion and the one negative fluoride ion. Both the lithium ion and the fluoride ion now have a full outer energy level, in other words, the electronic structure of a noble gas. So in this video, we're looking at ionic bonding between a group 2 metal and a group 6 non-metal. A good example is the reaction between the group 2 metal magnesium and the group 6 non-metal oxygen. I'm showing you a magnesium atom and an oxygen atom here. We can see that the magnesium atom has got 12 protons and 12 electrons, so this atom's got no overall charge. The oxygen atom's got 8 protons and 8 electrons, so again this atom has no overall charge. You can see that the magnesium has got 2 electrons in its outer energy level just like all group 2 metals. The oxygen's got 6 electrons in its outer energy level, just like all the elements in group 6. So in order to achieve a full outer energy level, the magnesium atom loses the 2 electrons in its outer energy level, and it passes them over to the oxygen atom, like this. Now we can see that the magnesium still has 12 protons, but it only has 10 electrons. This means that it's got an overall 2 positive charge, and we call this the magnesium ion. The oxygen still has 8 protons, but now it's got 10 electrons, giving it an overall 2 negative charge. We now call this the oxide ion. We can show this reaction using a dot and cross diagram like this, where we only show the outer energy levels. So again, here are the two electrons moving from the magnesium atom to the oxygen atom, producing the magnesium and oxide ions. So to recap, during ionic bonding, group 2 metals lose 2 electrons, forming a 2 positive ion, and group 6 non-metals gain 2 electrons, forming a 2 negative ion. You'll find plenty of questions on ionic bonding in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how electrons are transferred during ionic bonding between group 2 metals and group 6 non-metals. You should then be able to draw dot and cross diagrams to show ionic bonding.